Hi guys, my name's Hayley Quinn and I'm sex, dating and relationships expert for onlinedating.org and I'm going to be chatting to you today about a question I got in from a reader about what he's worried that his wife is going to look like his mother when she's older and wants to know if that's true or not. Firstly, I'm going to say I'm a dating coach and I'm not a scientist, so I'm not even going to pretend to understand the complex genetic things that go into how a person is going to age. However, what I would say is it's not as straightforward as your wife being a carbon copy of her mother. Quite the opposite, in fact. There's going to be complex genetics involved. She may, for instance, turn out to age more like her father's side of the family. Obviously, there are other things that significantly influence the aging process that I think myself, even as a bystander, and most of you guys should know about. Things like, does she smoke? Is she a heavy drinker? How much time she spends in the sun? Whether she puts sunscreen on? Does she adequately look after her skin? Is her diet healthy? Does she exercise? All of these complicated factors are going to influence how well or not she ages. And my third thing I'd like to say is before we get more and more embroiled in this conversation of concerning whether your wife is going to look you're like her mother when she's older, I think we're kind of missing the point. The point is when you're dating someone and when you've made a significant commitment, that should be about them as a person. I don't think if you're, that, if you're not that invested in them, if you're not that interested in them in a, as a person, then they're probably not the right person for you. Because ultimately looks are always going to fade. Um, in fact, I'm going to remind everyone of a great Shakespeare quote that love is not love which alters when it alteration finds. So if your wife alters and turns out to be a carbon comp copy of her horrible mother when she's older, then and you kind of decide that you dislike her for that, then maybe it wasn't true love in the first place. And you should find someone that connects with you much better as a person to the extent that a few wrinkles just aren't going to matter. Okay guys, well thanks very much for listening. My name's Hayley Quinn and I'm a sex dating and relationship expert for onlinedating.org.